Sam Barber, it's been a while. I know we talked over the summer, but uh, wrestling season's upon us. I know you've been working out a lot, but COVID, how much has it affected your team? Like you haven't wrestled in a competition yet, but how much has it affected you so far? You know, uh, Brian, really, you know, we've, um, we've, we've, our guys have done a great job, you know, so I'm not to say it has an impact. This wouldn't be true, right? But, you know, I think when we came back um, in August, uh, you know, we were able, we had a good plan in place. Uh, we executed that plan. We were able to get on the mat quickly. We've been able to stay healthy. We've been on the mat. So we've had a good solid five months of consistent training and, and, gr- and a great training environment. You know, the biggest, the three things we've talked about um, going all the way back till March when this thing hit on the 19th of March, you know, I remember where I was at, right? Like that day, but immediately we said, you know, hey, the circumstances aren't gonna be b- bigger than our mission or our goals. That's one. Number two or three really was that we're gonna grow our program. So we're gonna continue to do all the things that we do to grow our program in every every way. We're gonna raise money, we're gonna recruit, you know, we're gonna get better, we're, we're gonna be a mission first program with our athletes. Um, you know, at that point, we didn't know when we were gonna get back on the mat, so we, we're gonna wrestle again, right? Became, became a pretty important thing and we were able to do that pretty quickly in August and then it was that we're, we will compete and uh, we were scheduled to compete against this, you know Army in, in November and, and that fell through but we were ready um, and, and, and what we did to prepare for that you know those those days don't go away right so we benefited from that it was a, a kick in the gut really when we lost it but um, you know we got better so uh, the guys we, we made a decision to let the guys go home get some rest recovery I think that's important right now uh, they came back on the 26th they've been committed We've been training hard, and we're ready to go for this weekend. So, to say it hasn't impacted us wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be a true statement. But to uh, I would tell you I would put so much um, positive credit to our guys for doing the right things, to staying committed, to you know to to buying in, to that we're going to wrestle, we're going to compete, we're going to grow our program. You know we're not going to let the circumstances be bigger than our mission or our goals. Right? They've They've been phenomenal. So, you know, as we talk about this, you know, there's probably no bigger hero in this story than the, than the athletes on our team because uh, they, they've just been incredible. And um, we're, when Sunday hits, when that first whistle blows, you know, I, I don't think we're ever going to put a team on the mat for a first competition that's more ready. Yeah, that's awesome. It, you've had a lot of time to prepare, but now it's not just one one meet, right? It's it's two, so it's back to back. Northern Colorado first, then to South Dakota State. Um, and I want to let people watching know it's going to be not the day <laughs> they can come, but it's in the volleyball gym. So kind of a different venue, different than what you're used to, not Kloon Arena. Does that affect you guys at all, two mats going on at the same time? Yeah, I don't think so. Again, I, I, these guys are so hungry to compete, right? I think sometimes you got to lose opportunities to, to, to understand how valuable they are, right? So when we lost wrestling, there was a lot of guys that kind of that were maybe questioning why or what they, you know, where this fits in their life, right? Um, a lot of people doubled down on their commitment, and uh, it, it kind of puts things in perspective. Of course, we want to go out there and uh, fly, fight, and win every time, right? But there's not a guy on there, including the coach, that when that first whistle blows on Sunday, that there's not going to be just this like huge relief of like, yes, we're competing, right? So I don't think I, mean, I don't think it matters where we compete. You can put a friggin' mat, you know, on the top of Eagles Peak, right? And we'd be excited about the opportunity to go up there and compete. It don't, it don't matter where it's at or what the event, like none of that matters. We're just so excited to compete. These guys are ready to go. Big 12, pretty much all your competition this year, Northern Colorado, South Dakota State. You have six ranked wrestlers coming into this event. I guess what's your expectation? What do you what do you want to see from your wrestlers this weekend? Yeah, I think before I get to that, I think that yeah, the the schedule's probably never been tougher, right? You know, Big Twelve is always challenging, but the Big Twelve, including the affiliates, it gets better every year. Uh, this year, um, you know, ten of the twelve schools are ranked in the top twenty five. Like every every one of those teams is a top twenty five team in the Big Twelve right now. So and that's the only people we're wrestling is top is Big Twelve competition, right? So that's a great thing. And this is in my time here. Um, this is the best team we've ever put on the mat. So uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to you know to have the best you know the most challenging schedule we've ever had and the best team we've ever had. So expectations are just going to be go out and compete hard um, to to let it rip. You know to fall back on our training and just go out and do the things we do right and to execute and and to really to to savor it and understand like how fortunate we are and, and how great it is that we're at this point where we can compete, right? And if we're going to go out there and we're going to wrestle in those matches and they're all going to be hard-fought match, hard matches. And um, it's uh, it's going to come down to who wins the overtimes, who wins the one-pointers, who wins the scrambles. 
it's inches and ounces. It's, you know, the margin's going to be really small. And if we can come out on top in some of those positions, which I believe we will, um, you know, we're going to have a great team outcome, right? But the, the thing for me is we just got a solid team. We have great depth. This year we had to have wrestle-offs at five different weight classes that involved three, three athletes, right? That's, that's not been the norm for us. So the depth in our team is incredible. Um, you know, the 10 guys that we're going to put on the mat this weekend, there's not a, not a single one of those guys that isn't capable of being um, in the top 25 at the NCAA tournament and, and on the podium, right? So the, the, the amount of potential uh, that we have in this team is incredible. So uh, I, I don't make predictions on results, but I, I, will, I will predict that 10 out of 10 weight classes, you're going to see a high-quality, high-caliber wrestler that competes extremely hard. That's, that's good to hear. And at, because we're at a military academy, I want to ask you, I would never say this is a good thing, this COVID, this that happened, but it did put a real-world circumstance on kids who are trying to learn to become leaders in the United States Air Force, Space Force. Have, can you see a silver lining in this whole thing and that they're becoming almost even better leaders through this? Yeah, and I think we have to, right? I know that's people want to be realists and say that it's been challenging, but I just, you know, I'm not, unfortunately, will not let the guys, nor am I going to let myself fall into that mindset, right? Like, everything that's happened to us, you know, in the last, you know, since March has been great. You know, there's been so many good things that have come out of it. We've had guys to get a step away from the academy to reflect, um, you know, double down on their commitment. Um, guys have had to own their training. Uh, so they went home and did that. Uh, there's just been so many positive things. I mean, we've spent more time together as a team. We've had five months to prepare, you know, and spend time on things that we don't normally get to spend time on. Well, the most important thing is your team culture, right? Well, how much time do you spend on that? Well, we got to spend um, three months over the summer working with Heath Esslinger, um, you know, develop, you know, kind of making it, having a better culture. You know, how do we, how do we see ourselves as a team? You know, how, how do we, who are we? You know, our identity. And I think you're going to see that come out on on uh, Sundays, like this idea of like who who we are as Air Force wrestling, and you know what that really looks like, and and having guys truly understand what that is. So they, they're really, um, you know, outside of being a wrestling coach that loves to wrestle and coaching a team of warriors that love to fight and compete, and not having those opportunities, um, that's that's been challenging, but it's made guys hungry too. So you know we're just never you're never going to you know especially on tape. You know, hear me say that we we're at any disadvantage or there was any negativity, you know, to the circumstances. You know, we, 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 that's been our thing from the beginning, right? We're not going to let the circumstances be bigger than our mission or our goals. And, and you know, we're going to drive that through this season, you know, hopefully into a point where we get beyond, beyond this pandemic. And um, I think we're, we're, there's no doubt we're going to be a better team um, because of this. You have to have there's, – there's, there's no great story without struggle. You have to have struggle. You have to have it. It's essential. And, um, and um, sometimes life is too easy. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful we had the opportunities we had to grow. Sam Barber, thanks. Good luck this weekend. Appreciate it. Thanks.